Making an apple in Creator is very simple. We're going to be using the clay menu with these tools. Some of them add clay, some of them remove clay, and a lot of them help you shape it. First things first, go to the scene graph and set the resolution to 2x. It's just an apple, we don't need high resolutions. Turn on the symmetry setting with the grid tool to help you place your clay easily. Find the center of the box and place your starter clay. I'm going to select the bulge tool and give it some more substance around the center. Don't be afraid of messing it up, you can undo and try again. We have a good shape to start with. I'm going to select the smooth tool with a high strength setting and make the clay smooth, like an apple. We have a pretty good shape to start with. Let's add the holes at the top and bottom by selecting the erase tool. I use the grid tool to help me keep it symmetrical. This is already looking most of the way there. Use the smooth tool and give it a coherent and organic shape. I'm going to select the bulge tool and give it some detail around the top and bottom. I'll follow it up with the smooth tool as well. We have what looks mostly like an apple, but it looks kind of tall. I'll select the shrink tool with a low strength setting and give it a shape that makes sense. We lost some detail down here, so I'll just recreate those real quick. We have the base of the apple in about 3 minutes, we're going to add the stem now. Add a new layer in the scene graph. Select the sphere tool with a high strength setting. Set the motion smoothing to 90 or so and drag the stem out of the apple. We have our stem just like that. Now let's add the leaf. Make a new layer and place it on top of the others. Select the cube tool and use this button here to modify it for our needs. Drag one side of it so it's long and rectangular, then drag it out to start the leaf. Erase the sides to make it a leaf shape. It's a different layer so don't be afraid of erasing the stem or apple. I'd like to reposition this leaf, so I'm going to select it, cut and paste it to make more sense. We have what looks like a complete apple already, and it took just about 5 minutes. We could export this as is, but we have plenty of time, so let's refine it too. Go to the texture tab to bring up the optimization menu. Select it for whatever your use case is, I'll pretend that this is a prop in a mobile game, and set it to the lowest polygon count. It's a very simple shape with no small details, so we can get away with low poly counts.
Repeat the same for the other layers. And that's that. In about 6 minutes we have an apple ready to be used in whatever you need. Texturing this would take another minute or two, but for now you can export it from the menu.